So my most memorable moment from intern year probably had to be when I was on the wards, uh, the, on the medicine wards. Um, and the patient was anasarchic, had no access, and was kind of starting to like dump her pressures, was a little bit like swirl in the toilet. Um, and the medicine resident was stressed out because we had no access, but hey, we have an emergency medicine resident, no problem. They love procedures. So they were like, oh, we need you to do a central line. Do you, you got this? Got this. Okay. And I was like, uh, sure. I had only had my orientation month in the ED, so I hadn't even worked full ED shifts. Um, and as far as lines and procedures, we have like our boot camp. So I had done them and kind of gotten some code lines during my um, orientation month as well in the ED. Just kind of got some from the seniors that were there. But this was like my first unassisted line. And I was stressed out because she had like an INR of six. She was anasarchic. And I knew like there was not really anybody else around. So I called down to the emergency department. And I remember calling and asking for uh, one of the fourth years. And it was one of our chief residents that picked up. And I kind of just was a little stressed out about it and was kind of scared and told him, you know, hey, I, uh, I'm i gonna do a central line, I'm on the floor. And he was finishing up, he was wrapping up his shift. And so he was like, well, I will try to get up there if I can, where are you at? Uh, and if not, I will see if I can get somebody up there. Um, do what you gotta do though, you're one of us. So I grip my teeth and I'm like, I'm not gonna show that I'm scared. That medicine senior is more scared than I am right now. They're standing in the corner like, checking through labs and stuff. So it's like, somebody's gotta do something. So if not me, then who? Um, so I got all my stuff together and you know I'm getting everything ready. I turn and look at the medicine resident as I'm putting my finder needle on. They're like, you got this, right? And their hands are shaking. And I'm like, yeah, I got this. And my hands are shaking. <laughs> and then I finally see a flash come by the door and I turn and look and there's one of the ICU seniors um, who, comes back by and he's like, hey man, are you the intern that's about to stick somebody with an IRF6? And I was like, yes I am. Do you want a pair of gloves? And he was like, oh no, you got this. I'm gonna just stand out here. Your senior sent me up. Uh, and you know, the line went fine. Yes, she bled a whole lot, but I had it under control, got the line in fast. And then the ICU senior took her to the ICU. So thanks for the assist. Um, but I think that that was a memorable moment for me because it really did kind of exemplify the fact that the EM community really is a, a tight knit community and we do have each other's backs in more ways than one. Just the fact that my own senior, even though he couldn't get there, he called somebody and got someone to be there for me to support me. Uh, I thought was really cool and not something that I had anticipated getting when I first got there because it's kind of like, who are you? You're an intern. Um, but it, I really appreciated that. And still to this day, it's been helpful knowing that any of my co-residents, my co-chiefs, my attendings, it, whenever I'm like in a sticky situation, even if it's overnight, they are like a text message or a phone call away and they're still having my back even to this day. So I thought that was uh, pretty memorable about emergency medicine because it literally is, if not us, then who?